Hello, Peter. What's happening? Um, I came by here yesterday around 10 o'clock, and you weren't here. Yeah, I was just sort of wondering where you were. Yeah, I, uh, I must have been in the bathroom. Hmm, yeah. Actually, I went to the bathroom after I came by here, and I didn't see you in there. I, I suppose I must have been in one of the stalls. Hmm. Yeah. You weren't wearing wingtips, were you? I don't remember. Hmm. Well, if you could just go ahead and let us know if you're going to be gone for any length of time, that would be great. Things are going to be getting kind of tight around here. Okay? Just another picture, thank you. Okay, great. <laughs> thank God it's Friday, huh? I'm sorry, Tom. Did you want another order of extreme fajitas? Mm -hmm. uh do you guys ever wonder what would happen if you just stopped working? You'd be a street person. No, not necessarily, all right? Now think about it. If I just stopped going to work, all right, I could probably last a couple of months before I ran out of money. I could live off my credit cards for another four months after that. It takes at least six months to evict somebody, all right? And at least another two months after that before they come and physically remove me from the apartment, okay? So I could last over a year. Yeah, then you'd be a street person. Yeah, but I would have over a year to come up with some way to make a whole bunch of money. Could you please, for the love of God, just once answer the phone differently? Or just put the accent somewhere else? Like, corporate accounts payable. Or just, hello, corporate accounts, please hold. Whatever happened to please hold? Just a moment, just a moment, just a moment. Hold on a second. Anything, a little variety. Could you do that, please? Because that would make the next 20 years of my life just that much less odious. And I would really appreciate it, thank you. Well, that's odd. I hadn't noticed the spelling of your last name before. It ends in an S-K-I. The absence of a Y in a suffix like that usually indicates a pretty mixed heritage. Maybe that's the problem we've been having. A really mixed cultural bag. Were your folks forced to change their name when they came over? Milton Wadhams, is it? Yes. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Milton, uh, I've been going over the employee roster and I, I can't seem to find your name in it anywhere. Are you, are you new here? No, I've been working here for 15 years and I didn't even receive a 10-year watch and I was told that I would receive the Boy, watch. that's odd. Yes. Have you received any checks lately? We, yes, but I worked overtime last month and I did not receive compensation for that. Wait, wait, Peter. You gotta postpone it, man. Tell me you've been sick. Make something up. Oh, no way, Michael. I feel great. This is the best day of my life. What, what has gotten into you? Did that hypnotherapist give you lobotomy? No, actually, he died. He died? Yeah, that was the weirdest thing. Michael, one minute, he's looking into my eyes, just telling me to, to forget about all my worries, just relax and deeper, deep. And then, well, he died, but in my head, something clicked, all right? And I realized something, Michael. We don't have a lot of time. We can't afford to waste it being miserable. Look at yourself, Michael. Take, look at all, look at him. Look at all of these people. Look what we've chosen to be with our. Keep your voice down, okay? Because you sound like a Gen X coffee house dick right now. Look, if you want my advice, don't go in there. Tell Lumberg you've been really sick and buy some time until you can come up with a better story. Oh, Michael. You're a good friend. Thank you. Mm. But I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be a lot of fun. <clears throat> hey. 
guys go to Lumberg's funeral? Shit, no. 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 Yeah, if you guys could just go ahead and sort of pick up the pace a little bit, that'd be great.